All right, so briefly, I wanted to talk about the deadlift uh, stance box squat. Now, uh, I made a video on it on uh, a few days ago, and then I tried it out on Friday. Today is Monday, and I did some deadlifts, some conventional deadlifting with uh, 405 pounds. I worked myself up to a 405 deadlift, and I did a touch-and-go five reps I want to say fairly easy, and then I did another set of six uh, because I felt like five was too much. I didn't want to go up and wait, and then I went ahead and did uh, 425 conventional deadlift. Uh, I did what did I do? I did singles, singles. I did one rep, stop, one rep, stop, and I did that for the purpose of kind of learning how to set myself up for a heavy deadlift because. Each time you do that, you're setting yourself up because the setup is always kind of a practice point that I uh, that I try to incorporate in my training. And I'm starting to feel like I can get this conventional deadlift 500 pounds. I know I'm going to get a 500 pound uh, sumo for sure because I did 485 a week ago, so I, I'm going to kill that. But a 500 conventional just sounds a little scary because of the amount of lower back strength required for it and how much you have to be pitched over. So... I did a, uh, when I did the deadlift stance box squat on Friday, I went all the way up to 355 pounds. I did a set of five and I was surprised how easy it was. It was easy because I didn't go that low because on a deadlift, you don't squat that low. It's only a partial. And I'm finding that I can load that bar with a shitload of weight. So I think on Wednesday, I'm going to go ahead and try to get 375 on there. And then maybe even 400 pounds. Now, there's a huge mental thing with 400 pounds for me on the squat because I've never squatted more than 360 pounds. I've never held it more more than that in my back. And it, and just the thought of it kind of gives me a little bit of a kind of cringe or butterflies. But I really think and I really believe that those box squats, uh, those deadlift stance box squats, those uh, close stance box squats on Friday I did, made the 405 deadlifts today very easily. Uh, very easy. It made them very easy. Because I was able to kind of keep everything tight. Uh, it, it just made such a big difference because of having that extra load on my upper back. So I'm looking forward to trying it out on Friday. I, I mean, I deadlift and squat pretty much every single day. So I'm going to have kind of a lighter day tomorrow with squats and deadlifts. Kind of focusing on technique, light weights. I kind of like doing squats mainly just to maintain my flexibility because I'm very tight. I've only been able to full squat for about maybe a little over a year. And uh, I'm finding the more frequent I squat, squat, the better I get at it. Uh, so I'm going to focus on some kind of like almost like a deload workout, but more specific on kind of flexibility and form. And then uh, on Wednesday, I'm going to go ahead and give the, the deadlift stance box squats uh, a try again.